Hello and welcome to Swiss Online Pattern Making Software Channel. Drafting a pattern requires you to mark points and connect them with lines, arcs or curves. With Swiss, you use a simple coding language to draft sewing patterns. Let us start with points. Today we shall look at the first function that lets us to create points. It puts a point at the given coordinates on X and Y axis. The X axis goes from left to right and Y axis goes from top to bottom. Zero is in the top left corner of the grid. The grid, by the way, is 10 by 10 centimeters by default. You can also change view to 1 by 1 centimeter grid by clicking the grid button in the upper row. The 10 centimeters lines are still visible and are somewhat thicker. Let's put the first point at 10 cm by x axis and 10 cm by y axis. The function syntax is as follows write the name of your new point, equation sign, the word point, and then x and y coordinates in brackets. You can see that our point P1 is at 10 cm to the right from 0 and is by 10 cm below 0. You can use math formulas, variables, and coordinates of other points to describe your new point. For the next point, P2, we have math formulas in coordinate parameters. The system calculated these and placed the point at 10 cm by x axis and 50 cm by y axis. Quite often, You'll want to refer to size constants or variables when putting your points. I created two variables, n that equals 40 cm and m that equals 15 cm, and used it to place point P3. For x coordinate, I used the sum of variables n and m. That is 40 plus 15 cm. Or 55 centimeters. For y coordinate, I used a size constant SZ13, the shoulder length. You can double click the size coordinate in code to see its definition. For this size, the shoulder length is about 15 centimeters. The full list of size constants is available at www.swiss.com. It is also possible to refer to coordinates of already existing points by using properties point X and point Y. For the next point, P4, I used X coordinate of P3 and Y coordinate of P2. The point is right below P3 and is on the same level as P2. I hope you enjoyed this short video about Swiss online pattern making software. If you have any questions, you are welcome to ask them in comments to this video, or in our forum at www.swiss.com. We also encourage you to follow us on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. Happy sewing!